I'm going to show you how to deal with leading zeros when you're working with CSV files in Excel. Uh, the problem is that anytime Excel sees a string of digits uh, that doesn't have any other letters or other characters in it and there's a zero at the beginning, it assumes that zero needs to be eliminated because numbers don't start with zero. So uh, to show you an example, here I've got um, some addresses in a CSV file. I'm going to open that up with Notepad first. So you can see that my last column on the end here is the zip codes, and I've got several that start with zeros. But if I double click on that same file to open it in Excel, you can see that it drops off those leading zeros. Well, it's pretty easy to deal with. All we have to do is rename this file. So we can right click on it and rename, and then uh, add a TXT to the end. You could take the CSV off. I usually just leave it there. And just say yes on the warning about changing the extension. Then if you hop back to Excel and open your file, first you'll have to change your file type down here to text files. So there you can see there's our uh, file that I renamed. We open it up and the text import wizard pops up. We're going to leave it at delimited for the, the data type. And we'll change our delimiter to comma since this is a CSV file. Then we need to select the file that has leading zero or the column that has leading zeros and change the data format to text. Now when I'm uh, importing a CSV file I will usually just change all of my columns to text. So if you click on the first one, go to the last one, shift and click on the last one and just format them all as text. Then you hit finish and everything gets imported into te into Excel, your columns get parsed out, and you can see that we still have our leading zeros over here. Now, one other thing that you should know about is that um, if you don't see the file extensions on here, like where I'm showing the csv.txt and the .xlsx, um, if you're not seeing those, you won't be able to rename it properly. So to change that, you'll have to uh, change the setting in Windows to show the extensions. Um, it varies a little bit depending on what version of Windows you're running, but you can go to the Organize button and choose Folder and Search Options. That'll bring up the folder options. Or if you just hit the Alt key on your keyboard, then the Tools or the Menus will appear. You can go to Tools, Folder Options. And then on the View tab, then there's an option here to hide extensions for known file types. So if I turn that on, you can see that the file types disappear. I uncheck that, which is what you'll need to do, and click OK. Then they come back, and then you're able to rename those files without a problem.